by a terribly tight tutu, and right now my butt feels like it's being sliced in half by a disgruntled doily. <laughs> huh? What was that? It sounded like Honey's laugh. <laughs> there it is again! But that's impossible, right? Because ghosts don't really exist, except in Tuck's imagination, or in movies and TV, but it's not real, right? Ha! <laughs> Even I heard that, but I don't see anything. Maybe someone's pulling a prank on her. I'll just get up close to see if I can smell <laughs> uh oh <laughs> There goes Chippy, screaming in terror again. So cute. Wait, Chippy screaming in terror? I wonder which wrong. Maybe I should go investigate. That was weird. I think this tutu is cutting off the circulation to my brain because I'm not thinking clearly. I better not tell anyone I heard those noises or they'll think I'm crazy. Hey, maybe if I grease my skin with some saliva, it will slip right off. Chippy! Oh no, I've got to work fast. Hey, Chippy, where are you? Oh, great. Too late. Hey, Chippy, did I just hear you scream? Uh, yes, I'm having trouble getting out of my tutu. You want me to help you pull it up? No, this is humiliating enough as it is. I guess the tutu must have shrunk in the wash. <laughs> <laughs> did you just hear that? Hear what? I can't hear anything. I think this pink python is really a boa constrictor. Get it? Yeah, funny. I could bite it off. No, stop! I can do it myself! Now you sound like Mr. Trey. Why won't you let me help you? Because, Tuck, there are some things a lady must do on her own. And that includes scraping a tutu off my skin. Or trying on a new bathing suit under harsh fluorescent lighting. I think you're being silly. I feel just like Daniel Day-Lewis in my left foot. <laughs> now surely you must have heard that. It sounded like Honey's laugh. And I think it was coming from upstairs. Hey, Mr. Trey, do you see anything unusual up there? Unusual? Uh, no. Other than a few dust mites. What could possibly be unusual up here? Good. Don't blow my cover. I told you something weird is going on. And you're not creating these laughs yourself? No, I swear this is not my doing. But it might be the work of those ghosts who tried to get in before. Or any of the other dark forces. Or it could be Honey. Well, that's highly unlikely. Not if you knew Honey. Maybe she's trapped somewhere between this world and the next and needs our help. See, that's what they want you to think. Maybe so. But right now, it's the best thing I've thought about in weeks. And if she's here, I'll find her. Hey, what's all the whispering about? Is someone else up there with you? Hey, Trey. Trey. Hey, Trey. What am I supposed to say here? Oh, hi, Tuck. How's it going? I just... Happen to be up here, you know, looking around, taking in the sights. Hey, have you ever noticed the splotches of red paint on the ceiling? Yeah, it's tomato soup. Long story. Anyway, Chippy, you must have heard that laugh, right? And there's only one cat I know that laughs like that. Like what? <laughs> like that. Unless, of course, Boots is making that noise. Now why does everyone assume I'm responsible? Just because I'm a ghost doesn't mean I'm ghoulish. But I wouldn't be too sure it's honey yet. The dark forces are very good at using tricks and illusions to try and control you. Just look at the mess that's going on with Mel Gibson. If that man isn't haunted by evil spirits, I don't know who is. What's he saying? Not that I necessarily believe you're really talking to someone you understand. Right. Well, Boots says it might not be Honey laughing, it might be some kind of trick. Sort of like this tutu, because it'll be a real trick if I ever manage to get out of it. I could get a pair of scissors and try and cut it off. Are you crazy? Remember when you tried to cut a coupon for Fancy Feast out of the paper and you ended up shredding the entire stock market section? Hey, the stock market needed no help from me with regards to shredding, because it's been cutting and slicing people's assets for years. Yeah, well, that still doesn't help me out of this tutu. Maybe if you stop eating for a few days. Not a possibility. Perhaps I could help. Sometimes all you need is a little magic.
Hey, look, Tippy. Boots used magic to loosen it. Whatever. I'm just glad I'm finally free of the frill. No, I'm serious. Boots was the one who freed you from the butt cracker. Well, if Boots is so magical, why can't he figure out where Honey's laugh is coming from? Tell her I will. I'm sure he will, but... <laughs> there it is again. It came from upstairs. I'm on it. Oh, I suppose Boots is running up the stairs right now to investigate, right? Well, as a matter of fact... <laughs> Whoever's laughing certainly seems to be enjoying themselves. I'm sure your ghost friend will be running up and down the stairs looking for whoever it is. Well, as a matter of fact, I hope it is, honey, because we could sure use her sense of humor right about now. <laughs> And only $16 each until September 30th. What a bargain!